I want to race Robbie. Team Robbie, team if you're watching this, I'm challenging you. Robbie. Robbie and Malik would be a good race. You challenge me. Oh. Oh. What was that? <laughs> the competitors. You challenge me, I'm ready for it. Ooh. This is the race of the century. I know. This Malik's is... been calling Robbie after the past month. I know. Malik's been waiting for this day. And look how ready Robbie is. He's like, let's get it. <laughs> You know it's going. You know Robbie's going. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. I love losing. <laughs> Alright, no, don't go. Are you going all this to do it again? Wow. Best two out of three. I know. Go Rob. <laughs> They're just gonna go do it again. Come on, MV. Make us proud. <laughs> John, there's some people in the studio. Will you video? Oops, sorry, we have people that want to sign up, so we have to go back in the studio and sign up some members. Okay. Okay, we ready? On your mark, get set, go! This is good. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Robbie again, but very close. Woo! Look at that, wow. Robbie, two for two, but that looked a little bit closer. Not a bad start. Nice. Hey, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Right? Well, the first one you may have been a little off size, just saying. Okay, how do I stop this? It's a little upsetting on my part, but wow. Bang, bang, nine again. Bang, bang, nine again. Bang, bang, nine again. Bang, bang, nine again. Nine again. But these are all open. Oh, you're right. Don't know the good point. What? These are all open. What? These are all open. Oh! And there's four of us in there. No! Back to the old days. Which one's this one? Which one's this one? Which one's this one? Which one's this one? What's going on guys? It is January 26th and it is um, a weird day. Uh, I know many of you heard, um, I don't know when I'll post this, maybe a couple days later, but that the legendary, iconic role model for so many, based off of not only his basketball attributes, but how he, how he you know, carries himself, how disciplined he is, Kobe Bryant, if you haven't guessed. And it really got me thinking and I've talked to a couple people uh, about it today in terms of like it's you know it's sad and it's crazy and I can't believe it. it hurts my heart and I was talking to this lady Susan uh, she might be in her uh, 40s um, maybe maybe 50s but uh, she was very you know very educated very wise and she was like you know she lost her son when 
he was 28 due to a heart attack and Kobe was 41 and uh and uh it kind of just makes you think about what she was saying was the perspective you know it's like tragic tragic that you know he passed or any loved ones that we have passed you know um but what she was saying was like he was 41 and uh you know so he had an additional around 20 years and uh that's the perspective she was having so like you know celebrate his life celebrate what he did in his life and uh you know what i what i got from that was like what are you going to do in your life to me like what am i going to do in my life and i asked you what are you going to do in your life you're given so much time uh you know a limited time it's not infinite and so what are you going to do with that time and uh, really kind of like brought it all circle made me feel a little better in terms of like how my heart was feeling um but you know everyone out there who's lost someone this year who's lost a loved one lost a close one you know my prayers are with you uh my thoughts are with you and i hope that you uh get through it and i know you'll get through it and uh just all love all love All right, guys, I'm in my kitchen, just had some tacos, my dinner, and basically what I want to go over in this video, in this clip, is tracking when it's not like one single thing. Like usually if someone has, you know, some almonds or like a bag of chips or something that's easy on my fitness pal, it's super easy to scan, right? Um, but I want to kind of go over a lot of the times I hear, Malik, it's hard to track because there's so many ingredients, right? If you're cooking a stew, or if you're cooking like a jambalaya, or if you're cooking tacos, when there's multiple ingredients, it is a little hard to track, and I wanna show you guys how I do that, just so it's a little easier, all right? A little easier on you. Um, basically, what you wanna do, because we're tracking calories and macros, is first track the foods that have the macros, which, again, a macro is uh, carb, protein, or fat. So, tortillas, obviously, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna screen record this on my phone so you're gonna see this. But uh, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna click my food. Hopefully that's cleared up. I'm gonna click my food. This is gonna be meal three because this is my third meal of the day. And I'm literally just gonna scan. All right, I'm gonna scan, it's gonna pull up a picture. Scans, boom, has it right there. So, I had two tortillas. I'm literally just gonna put quantity two. Again, I'm recording this on here. Go to the second ingredient with the most, probably the ground beef. All right, this was 80-20, 80% 80 lean, 20% fat ground beef. So I'm gonna look up on my fitness pal, ground beef, 80-20, I already have it saved. And I had about two servings. So servings, what, four, four to six ounces. So let's just go medium, 10 ounces, uh, 725. Probably a little less than that, but eh, round up. Um, second thing is probably the sour cream. So sour cream, we're gonna go ahead and scan. So we got those two items. Here's the third. That quick. If you don't got that that much time, you got that much time. Boom. Now we're gonna go to the guac. It's actually just avocados and a little onion, so it's not. It's pretty much just the avocado. And I had about two tacos worth, so maybe a quarter of an avocado. So I'm just gonna look up avocado. This is how you guys gotta do it, man. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box, do what you can. You know, if it's, it says one medium, so I don't even know what one medium is, but I know it was probably about, you know, if I go half of one, it's probably a little less than that, 0.25. It's probably around 60 calories, it sounds about right. Two scoops. And then the other stuff is tomato, which is no calorie, so I'm not gonna track that. I'm not gonna worry about that. Stuff that you don't have to worry about really about tracking are vegetables, now you can, but in terms of if you're stressing out about it, it being too hard, again, just focus on the ones with the macros. I also added lettuce, no calories, not gonna track that. Onion, same thing. And lastly, cheese, so cheese I'm gonna track. Now the cheese we have here. So this is gonna be another easy one. Scan, scan, boom. And I had about an ounce, so 110 calories. Probably a little less, but we're gonna round up. Boom. Add in my tacos for meal three. And again, you could double check. You could double check your work. But it was 1,215 calories. For two tacos, I probably think that's about right. Um, added a little extra meat, you know what I mean? Extra guac. But that's how you do it, guys. 
So next time you are having a multi-ingredient meal, you're having something with a lot of ingredients, tortillas, ground beef, you know, jambalaya, if you're having rice, chicken, you know, maybe some vegetables in there, focus on the heavier stuff first, the rice, the meats, the stuff with the macros, right, the dairy products, and then you could throw in afterwards if you still want to, if you still have the energy, the tomatoes, the lettuce, the onion, stuff like that, that have, you know, very little calories with a large volume. So I don't really worry about tracking those. I worry about the big ingredients, the macronutrient ingredients, and the ingredients with the most calories. So hope that helped. I'll see you guys next time. That's a dope shot. Saltine challenge. Guess there's, it's five in a minute. Yeah. Here are the five lucky winners. We got saltine number one, his name is Gary. We got saltine number two, his name is Mike. We got saltine number three, his name is Dale. The salt number four, his name is Chris. Saltine number five, his name is Cody. Three, two, go like one. Too fast. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gotta swallow. You're going so nonchalant. <laughs> All right, round two with the saltine challenge. Underestimate it the first time, not this time. So let's get the five contenders out. Ready? Y'all ready for this? Five, four, three, two, one. We gotta do it again, man. No, 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 no. We gotta do it Sorry. again. We gotta do it again. Sorry, man. Like, bro, you were so close. You were so close. has been defeated by Coach Malik. Proof. She was in the shot the whole time. No phony. I knew I could have done that. Challenge accepted. First one you took 21 seconds. Oh really? Yeah. Stay tuned for round two. Yeah.